and in the girls under 11 4x100 metre final event 75 of this fantastic day at Lakeside Stadium in lane one Frankston, lane two Sandringham, lane three Geelong, lane four Ringwood, lane five Caulfield, lane six Knox, lane seven Diamond Valley and lane eight Geelong. Once again, this event here, we've got a team on high 57s and the rest, 58, 59 seconds, hoping for a finish like we did in that previous race. A mixture of block and standing starts we can see here. Keep an eye on Geelong A, Ringwood, Caulfield, any team towards the middle really, but they're all going to be pretty tightly bunched, I reckon, in this under 11 girls final. Okay, wasn't a false start, I don't think. A few athletes maybe a bit unsteady. It's good that the starters can just settle them down in the younger age groups. And the team that powers out of the blocks is on the inside, Caulfield. Also keep an eye on Geelong in lane three as we lose them behind the discus cage ever so slightly. Could not see the changeover clearly on that one, but we know Geelong is going to be right up there, as is the team from Knox on the inside. Caulfield in lane five is one to watch as well. Corf uh, Geelong A team does pass over first in lane three. Caulfield, the quick legs of the young Caulfield athlete ticking over very, very quickly. Knox is right up there as well and it's going to be a race of three to four as they enter the front straight all together. Geelong into Caulfield, into Knox. Knox looks to be powering over all of them as one to watch. Are they going to catch Geelong? They might have run their race and been too good in the early stages. Geelong, Knox and dipping over the line, Ringwood and Caulfield together. Could not tell you who's won the bronze medal in that one there. Great race, very close finish.